Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dan Harper Realtors. Today I'm coming to you from the five plus acre lot community of Centennial Ridge in Bilverde, Texas. And the reason I'm out here is because I got some clients who are seriously considering putting an offer on the lot behind me. We just finished walking it with them and they're thinking about it. So of course, I'm gonna do a video for them. So let's go check it out. This is an absolutely beautiful lot. Definitely gonna need some land clearing, but uh, it's 5.9 acres. There's a little bit of a culvert back but that way showing one edge of the property and uh, electrical boxes kind of back. You can barely see them back behind my truck. There is a little hidden surprise. I'll show you later on in this video what makes this property unique, but it is 5.9 acres as of uh, mid-November 2023. The seller is asking 354k for this lot. All right, let's go cross with the woods. But before we go crawling through the woods, I definitely want to show off a little bit of the neighborhood. Not a lot of builds out here, but the house right across the street has been completed and it's absolutely gorgeous. We're kind of the front part of the community. You can see uh, the entrance to the community is right down this road. But yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's head on in there. I made sure I put my uh, sunglasses on for some eye pro. I don't need to get poked in the eyes. But you can, we're gonna go around the uh, left-hand side of the property, because that's kind of the easiest path. And you can see the neighbor to this property has already got uh, foundation work being done. But you can already tell there's quite a few really nice oak trees right up the front. As I'm filming it, we're at just after four o'clock. We did just have fall back time, so the sun does go down. And you can see where it's kind of dropping the back part of the property. But if you had these oak trees on the front part of your property, that would be really pretty. There are quite a few cedars back there, but man, there is a ton of oak trees right up on the front part of this property. Let's kind of get a closer look. You have to use your imagination or look closely, but man, there's a lot of oak trees. We'll call them little baby oaks and some really good size oaks back here too. But yeah, this is this could be right in front of your house, looking out. All right, let's go walk around the outside and show you more of a clearing space. Sorry, a lot, a lot of trees, branches there. They, it looks like they kind of cleared out the front part only. But there's. Your, what would be neighbor if my clients bought these house but you got these little trails going through here <clears throat> a lot of little small cedars definitely would get rid of those walk through here there's some oak trees back there in this media area this is a really ideal place to put a house either and clear this out and have this as your front yard or clear some of this out because it's mostly cedar on the back side and have uh, your footprint of your house right in this area. Sorry, I've been walking and talking for quite a while, so a little winded. But yeah, coming around here. And if you saw the picture on the front of the beginning of this video, it's a little regular shaped lot. But I'm trying to get this done before we lose light. So I'm going to walk around this little natural road here. Property, which is like I said, this depth is perfect for putting a house in. And we're going to walk all the way down to this. It will all be like in front of the house. And this would be kind of like your side yard right now. Because yeah, 5.9 acres, that's a pretty good size lot. I mean, you're going to have quite a bit of privacy. See this little stake we're walking up to? If you remember on that map, on that, one of those first slides, the lot line's gonna go from a little culvert there, a little post, up to this post, and then it's gonna shoot off at an angle back there. So all this trees here we're gonna see on my left, that's still on the lot property as well, as long as all these trees back this way. But yeah, bear with me. We got a little bit of walk because this is not just a one acre lot. This is a pretty good sized one. 
but this does go to Smith and Valley High School. Bolverde is a, I wouldn't say it's a hopping town. It's pretty quiet, but you do have easy access to everything, just right up Blanco Road. And if you want to get in the north part of San Antonio, that's easy peasy, or go north a little bit and uh, hit 46. Then if you go left, you're in Bernie. After about a eh, about 20 minute drive from here to Bernie, and a about a 30 40 minute drive to get to New Braunfels off of 46. But yeah, it's nice having these trails already back here. I'm not going to go crawl all the way through the thick back there. But yeah, there's a lot of cedars. Some of the smaller cedars I would definitely get rid of, but you do have some really good sized cedars which you can keep just to give this lot some more character. And of course you want to keep every oak tree you can. Uh, I wonder if that little berm there is for, I don't know. Let's go find out. Cause that's still on what you see on the left, still on our property, well on this property. <clears throat> nice little picnic tree. Big, uh, see I am tired. A little picnic table back there. I'd have to ask the listing agent if the deer feeder comes with the property. Well, this is what makes this property unique. It's got its own pond. Now, we've been in a drought the last two years, uh, but yeah, if you were able to, <coughs> pardon me, uh, you would need to put a well in, but there's some way to fill this up with well water or rainwater. And we do have a picture from back in the day, like two years ago, this was filled with water. So how cool is that to have a whole pond on your lot? Because this whole pond is part of the property. Super cool. All right, let's look around a little bit more. But yeah, we're kind of, like you said, this is all right in the heart of it. It's my clients are like, man, it's like having your own little private park back here because it does feel like you're out in the wilderness. So you do see there's quite a few, uh, what I call, like I said, or little baby oaks all back through here. Super nice to have on your property. There's some more oak trees. So it's a lot of character with this lot. And uh, I'm not gonna crawl all the way through the brush, but it still goes back here quite a ways. So yeah, if you wanted to clear some more of this underbrush out, looks like you got a little natural little berm set up for drainage to guide the drainage hopefully into the pond going back this way so yeah super cool I actually didn't walk all the way back here with my clients so now I'm kind of checking it out all right there's a post this might be toward the back of the property now So yeah, a lot of privacy. There's gonna be a big ranch kind of back there. I don't know if this is gonna be the back property on or not. It might be. No, I think it's a little further back that way. All right, I had to pull up, pull up my little phone app to kind of show we are not at the back of the property, but we are at the edge of the property. This is the same front edge that we kind of walked in on all the way back this direction. So. Let's go and walk all the way back to the back corner of this property line just to see what we see back here. Because yeah, all of this that we're seeing is still on this property. Everything to the left of us, that is. Got some, some decent oak trees back here. Then some larger cedars. But you can always keep these as your kind of a buffer back here. Because there's a little road easement uh, going back here behind this little barbed wire fence. Huh, so you know you're at the back of the property when you see the barbed wire fence and the pink ribbon. But there's probably like a little 20 foot road easement back here allowing access to someone else's property back this way. But nobody back behind you, 
and you get a cool barbed wire fence. All right, remember we are now at that back corner of this property. Just a lot of brush needs to be clearing out if you want to, or keep some of this natural, or just kind of having fun cutting through some uh, of this, creating little trails, especially if you had like a little quad or something like that and you want to build your own little track through here or bobcat, put that, make your own little trails to go walk into the forest. Kind of cool. All right, I skip forward a little bit, just kind of walking back towards the uh, front or the main part of the property again. I'm curious to see where this little baby burn goes to. Can you tell, just looking here, this is a water drainage spot. And I uh, might be a little sketchy trying to walk back through there. But you can see, it goes and curves around back there, but I'm not sure if it's feeding straight into the pond or not. But you can see on the other person's lot, they got a little deer blind that's been in, seen better days. All right, another nice oak tree back there. And this will all be kind of what, like the back 40 of the lot. And no, it's not a 40 acre lot. It's just the back portion of it. All right, let me go ahead and uh, skip forward a little bit. All right, we're just a little further along walking the edge of the property line here. It's nice to have the, they got it kind of cut so you really know where you are. Because before we kind of walked through the middle, the other little road leading to the pond. But now we're back up to where you can see the neighbors building their stuff. And this kind of gives you an idea of uh, what's back behind like the ideal build site. Lots and lots of uh, little cedars tucked back this way. A few baby oaks, but uh, yeah, you can pick and choose what you want to clear out and what you want to keep. And this gives you, I want to show off the neighbor's lot a little bit, kind of see where their oak trees are, because they've completely cleared this lot already. So you see they've got their well put in. And the back half, not as many uh, oak trees as the front, because they cleared out all the cedars. That's why I say you can pick out what cedars you want to keep in the back. But yeah, lots of beautiful oaks up in the front and being able to surround uh, your house with or especially just in front of your house because yeah we're kind of coming up to the front of the lot again <clears throat> once again using the neighbor's lot as an example that's what their oak trees look like in their build site area. They got some oak trees right around their build site and lots of oaks up front. And the same with this, you're gonna have lots of oaks up front and then whatever you decide to keep kind of around the house. Depends on where what the house placement is. And that's definitely talking to your builder to get that figured out. All right, for now, this video is just for my clients so they can look over the lot again, show the video to their friends and family and see what they think about it. I'm not making this video public until either A, they get the lot under contract, or B, decide they don't really want the lot and then it's gonna be great content to inform other people around the world what the Texas Hill Country looks like. So if you know anybody looking to move to this area, they're not working with a realtor already, I'll be happy to help. So uh, yeah, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and of course, share these videos with your friends and family, especially if you wanna to move to Texas. All right, take care now, bye.